The second harvest is the surplus from the first harvest, essentially from food. So it's the agri residues that are left over, like straw, like husks, apple skins, anything like that. I can't say a pioneering second harvest. Uh, we're a material science company. But we're a material science company that understand the engineering side and the processing side, and one that has really got to know the supply chain. So we work all the way through the supply chain from the producers all the way to the brands. And we license our new science because actually it's a much more cost-effective way of getting innovation into the marketplace. And the starting point for us was paper um, because we were using the fibres from the crop residues and technical papers because you can't compete with commodity. So that was actually food contact papers um, and we're creating papers for the building industry as well, so laminates. But we've now moved into bio compounds, loosely translated as you add a second harvest material to a plastic. So we're reducing the amount of plastic being used and we've actually created materials that are lighter in weight, they can be processed faster and pretty much most of the biomaterials we try, essentially like the hops and the raspberry cane that this, was, that this project was for, have been very successful. Our ambition really is to make sure that people understand that this is a new feedstock. So it's a new raw material. It's got new provenance. So it can reduce and replace wood where relevant, plastics, anything, metal, glass. It's just meant to be out there now as a new raw material. There's two things it provides. One is a revenue source and a consistent revenue source. And the second thing is, is it will reduce their carbon footprint. So it gives them an opportunity to either use that for themselves or potentially one day to be able to use that as a carbon credit. So it is a real legacy piece and it's something they can do without actually having to do anything else other than simply grow the food. Well, it seemed like a, a really nice synergy for us, actually. Um, there we are sitting in the middle of Kent, working clearly with agricultural products from Kent. So it seemed like it would be a really good opportunity for us and also for growing Kent and Medway. Because at the end of the day, what we're doing is demonstrating that here in Kent, with the, one of the probably the primary economies of Kent, we can create another economy from them. And growing Kent and Medway seem like the obvious partnership. So our ambition is to be able to bring second harvest into the, into the world as a mainstream new raw material feedstock. So it's creating a movement, which sounds fairly lofty, but at the end of the day, we need people to understand that this is a really amazing opportunity, both for social and environmental impact. And secondly, for Tense, it's to be able to accelerate the products that we've been developing and make them uh, mainstream and create a credibility for us as a material science company here in Kent.